Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. When I was a college student, one of my biggest goals was to work at a top tech company, to be a part of something bigger, to contribute to a software that would potentially impact billions of people. I am sure that a lot of you will resonate with the same feeling that I was having when I was in first, second and third year of college. Now. In this video, I want to share with you one of the best resources that you can get access to for completely free that will help you prepare for these coding interviews. The most important thing that you need to master is to answer and solve questions that are asked in your coding interviews. You need to develop that coding interview problem solving logic in your brain and once you do that you will be unstoppable and in this video we'll see exactly how can you do that make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel now a lot of you might be using a billion different resources i want to show you just one thing that you can use that will help you have guidance on what topics you need to master have all the list of interview questions that you can practice practice them on the same platform get the solutions and improve your problem solving ability. All of this at just one place. I want to show you this platform called as Code Studio by Coding Ninjas. It's a completely free platform for preparing for your coding interviews. So this is Code Studio by Coding Ninjas. Let me show you exactly what you can do with the help of this one tool step by step. So first of all, you get access to guided paths. If you just take a look at this page right here, this is going to show you a structured path that you can follow if you want to master any particular concept. It has a list of topics that you need to master. It has notes for every single topic. And then it also has a list of interview questions that are related or are based on a particular topic that we are learning over there. So for example, you get interview guide for product based companies. This is going to be a structured path that you can follow if you want to crack you know, coding interviews at these top tech companies. Then you also get paths for data such as an algorithms. You get paths for competitive programming, DBMS, if you want to learn languages like C++, Java, JavaScript, Python, and aptitude preparation as well, and a variety of other things as you can see on the screen. If you want to learn React, if you want to learn React Native, this has it all under one roof. If you want to do problem solving, it has a list of things that you need to do for that. If you want to prepare for software development, web development, for example, you can do that as well over here. As you can see, it also has information about how you need to prepare or how can you learn about OOPS in Java and in Python. Just to give you an example, let's just take a look at DSA and see the pathway that they have over here. By the way, I recently uploaded a video with Parikh in which we talk about a complete roadmap for DSA. So you can have a look at that video as well if you're interested. But this is going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap that you need to follow if you want to learn about a particular concept. Let's just say DSA, right? So you have arrays, strings, basic algorithms, you have multidimensional arrays, you have recursion, you have sorting and all of these modules that you need to complete if you want to learn about DSA properly. Now you will get access to nodes and problems at the same time. You can also look at the subtopics under arrays, for example, and you can click on attempt. You can learn about arrays. What are arrays in general? What are the properties of arrays? And once you understand what is arrays in general, you can take a look at the cadence algorithm nodes over here as well. So these are nodes, then you can go over to the problem set you can solve over here. So let's just say you understand what arrays are, then you can solve this problem called as maximum subarray sum. You can look at the problem statement you can look at the nodes, you can look at the input, you can look at the output, you can look at the constraints that you will be adhering to, and you can look at the sample input output at the same time. Then you can actually solve this problem right here. And you can also look at the submissions once you have solved this problem and you can see the solution as well for completely free. So this is a great tool if you want to understand about guided pathways. This is the first thing that you can do with the help of Code Studio. Now that's not it. You also get access to over 2000 different interview questions that are asked in companies and you can sort them through the difficulty level and through the topic that you are trying to solve the interview questions for. So as you can see, this is the page for that. You can sort what topics do you want to solve. So let's just say you only want to solve interview questions that are related to trees. So you can click on this and you can get all the questions that are from trees. So you can solve all of these selectively. You can also see the difficulty level. So you can sort for that. Maybe you just want to solve easy questions about trees. So you can click on this and you will get all the easy ones. You can also sort which company has asked this particular interview question. So let's just say that you want to get into Google or you want to get into Amazon. You can just click on Amazon right here 
and then you can see all the questions that are based on trees that are easy and that are asked in Amazon interview questions. This can be a great way for you to solve all of these problems. Let's just take an example of diagonal sum. If you click on this, this will open up the complete problem interface. So you have the problem statement. You can have a look at the solution, the submission, as well as you can attempt this problem. You can choose which language you want to attempt this in. So maybe you want to attempt it in Python or Java or C++. You can choose that and then you can start to attempt it right here and you can click on submit or run code. So this is how you can practice over 2000 different questions for completely free from various top tech companies and you can sort for what is a difficulty level and what topic is this problem based on. Now, once you try to attempt all of these 2000 plus interview questions, you might want to look at the solution. The best part about Code Studio is that the solutions are available in all the three languages, C++, Java, and Python. That makes sure that if you are into Python, you still get to see the solution and the best optimized approach to solve a particular problem. As you can see right here, we have this problem called as construct BST from level order. You can look at the submissions. You can look at the solution for this problem. And you can also look at the solution right here in all the three languages that you can choose from. This would be a great way for you to prepare for a coding interview in whatever language you see fit. Now, along with solving interview questions and having a look at the guided paths for every single concept, you will also get access to interview experiences of all the people that have gone through the rounds in top tech companies and they are sharing their experiences on Code Studio itself or again, completely free. Let's just say, for example, you want to look at the Amazon SD1 fresher interview experience that was done in Jan 2019. Just click on this and you can look at the rounds that they've been through and what type of questions were asked in every single round. So you can have a look at this. You can also try to solve this problem right here and you can see how fit you are for cracking these coding interviews. As you can see, you can go through various different rounds and you can look at the interview process right here. You can also look at the application process that will give you more idea about what are the eligibility requirements and other information as well. Resume tip is also given over here as well as how can you prepare for this particular interview. So this is the interview experience of Amazon. You can similarly take a look at interview experiences for Microsoft, for Goldman Sachs, for you know all these tech companies right here. Maybe you want to look at the PayPal interview experience so you can do that as well. Just click on this and you can get access to this interview rounds and the application process as well over here all on Code Studio itself. You might have also looked at that book called as Cracking the Coding Interview, that green book that you can get access to if you want to crack coding interviews. They have a lot of interview questions in that book as well. Now Code Studio has taken all of those interview questions and they have put it over here in this particular page as you can see right here. So if you want to prepare for any of these, you can just click on this and you can start solving all of these questions. So this is Code Studio by Coding Ninjas. As you can see, you can get access to top Amazon coding interview questions, top interview questions that are asked in Microsoft, or if you want to sort through the concept that you're trying to master. So let's just say you want to get access to top array interview questions, you want to get top trees interview questions. So you can get that as well all on Code Studio right here. I hope you'll use this opportunity to learn as much as possible and start preparing for your coding interviews. The work-life balance of all of these top tech companies is superb. You will get a lot of free time and you will also be able to work on projects that impact billions of people. So this is going to be one of the best fulfilling things that you will do once college is done. Take a look at this site and start preparing for your coding interview. I'll see you in the next video. Share this video with a friend of yours. Hit the like button, subscribe, tag me on social at Ishan Sharma 7390. I'll catch you all in the next one.